This is the Wizard News. When the Supreme Court ended affirmative action in higher education, it left the college essay as one of the few places where race can play a role in admissions decisions. For many students of color, instantly more was riding on the already high-stakes writing assignment. Some say. They felt pressure to exploit their hardships as they competed for a spot on campus. 2024's senior class is the first in decades to navigate college admissions without affirmative action. The Supreme Court upheld the practice in decisions going back to the 1970s, but this court's. Conservative supermajority found it is unconstitutional for colleges to give students extra weight because of their race alone. Still, the decision left room for race to play an indirect role. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote. Universities can still consider how an applicant's life was shaped by their race, so long as that discussion is concretely tied to a quality of character or unique ability. A benefit to a student who overcame racial discrimination, for example, must be tied to that student's courage and determination. He wrote. Scores of colleges responded with new essay prompts asking about students' backgrounds. Brown University asked applicants how an aspect of your growing up has inspired or challenged you. Rice University asked students how their perspectives were shaped by their background, experiences. Upbringing and/or racial identity. Max Decker of Portland, Oregon, initially wrote about his love for video games. In a childhood surrounded by constant change, navigating his parents' divorce, the games he took from place to place on his Nintendo DS were a source of comfort. The essay he submitted to colleges focused on the community he found through Word Is Bond, a leadership group for young black men in Portland. As the only biracial Jewish kid with divorced parents in a predominantly white Christian community, Decker wrote he constantly felt like the odd one out. On a trip with Word Is Bond to Capitol Hill, he and friends who looked just like him shook hands with lawmakers. The experience he wrote changed how he saw himself. It's because I'm different that I provided something precious to the world, not the other way around. He wrote, as a first-generation college student. Decker thought about the subtle ways his peers seemed to know more about navigating the admissions process. They made sure to get into advanced classes at the start of high school, and they knew how to secure glowing letters of recommendation. If writing about race would give him a slight edge and show admissions officers a fuller picture of his achievements, he wanted to take that small advantage. His first memory about race, Decker said, was when he went to get a haircut in elementary school, and the barber made rude comments about his curly hair. Until recently, the insecurity. That moment created led him to keep his hair buzzed short. 
The word is found. Deku said he found a space to explore his identity as a black man. It was one of the first times he was surrounded by black peers and saw black role models. It filled him with a sense of pride in his identity. No more buzz cut. The pressure to write about race involved the trade-off with other important things in his life. Deku said. That included his passion for journalism, like the piece he wrote on efforts to revive a once thriving black neighborhood in Portland. In the end, he squeezed in 100 characters about his journalism under the Applications Activities section. My final essay it felt true to myself. But the difference between that and my other essay was the fact that it wasn't the truth that I necessarily wanted to share," said Dagger, whose top college choice is Tulane in New Orleans because of the region's diversity. It felt like I just had to limit the truth I was sharing to what I feel like the world is expecting of me. Source. Associated Press, March twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. When marimba rhythm start to play, dance with me. Make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore. Sway me smooth, sway me more. The Level Up Job Fair, connecting talented job seekers with employers seeking to build diverse and inclusive workplaces. This job fair specifically promotes career advancement. Community integration and economic growth. On Thursday, April fourth, twenty twenty four, ten a.m. to two p.m. at Michelle's Ballroom, twenty eight hundred West Belmont Avenue, Chicago, Illinois six zero six one eight.